After we've completed screening in JBI summary, we can now critically appraise our studies. Only studies that have been included at full text screening will be available to critically appraise. To cr critically appraise, I click on this appraisal pane at the top. Every study that we've included at full text is available to be critically appraised. The first thing you will note is that there is a drop down list next to the study. If I click this, I can choose the tool in which I will use to critically appraise my studies. Now, these tools are designed based on the study design of the individual study itself. So, for example, because these are both randomized controlled trials, I've selected the randomized controlled trial tool. Now, these tools are the current JBI critical appraisal checklists. We also have allowances for the Cochrane Risk of Bias checklist, as well as a few others. To start critical appraisal, you will click on this blue start button. You are then presented with a series of questions. Now, these questions come directly from the critical appraisal checklists that JBI offer. What we need to do is then answer these questions as to whether or not uh, the condition was met in the paper itself. So for example, was true randomization used for assignment of participants to treatment groups? We may put, for example, no. I would leave a comment whenever I put no, and I would state something like, true randomization was not used. When I click out of that, it will save. I can now do this for each question presented in the checklist. For demonstration purposes, I'm just going to include, uh, put yes for all of these questions down here. I'm then asked a final question. Do I include or exclude this study following the results of my critical appraisal? Again, for demonstration purposes, I will just put include. I then click save and go back. Critical appraisal in summary is designed to occur in duplicate. This is why the first button here read completed but was grayed out. If I click on this third start button, it will take me to the final critical appraisal. Now, what this shows me is how I have critically appraised and how someone else has critically appraised. If, for example, we can see that there is a disagreement in how we both answered these questions, I can click on each person's uh, result to see how they answered this particular question. I then need to make a final judgment as to what the answer to this question is. Let's just assume in this scenario that it is yes. I can then enter a comment saying true randomization was used and then move to the next question. Because both uh, reviewers critically appraised using the same answer, yes, the system has already pre-populated this selection to be yes and no more actions need to be taken. I will just put yes here and yes here and you'll notice that all the other options apart from this one have been selected because they match. Both previous reviewers selected to include, so I again will include the study following critical appraisal. I'll click save, I'll hit back. Now this study has completed critical appraisal. Critical appraisal can also occur by yourself. You don't need to have a second person do critical appraisal. In this example, I'm going to start critical appraisal using the Berlin paper. I'm just going to quickly say yes to every question, purely for the purposes of demonstration, and then click include. I click save and go back. Now I can start my final critical appraisal without a second person critically appraising that paper. However, if I do, I'll be presented with a warning that I'm starting the final critical review with only a single appraisal. If I proceed, then I'll be creating a non-standard systematic review. All you need to do is if you follow this method, scroll down to the bottom, click include, and then save. Once I hit back, 
you will see that both of these studies have completed critical appraisal. However, only the first study has been critically appraised in duplicate.